Hi, everybody. It's Craig back in the old sports cabin. It's a Monday, and the Texans got through week one doing what they were supposed to do. As expected, the Texans beat the Bears. The locals were supposed to win, and they did. The oil fan base in the building wore Liberty White and whatever else had a Texans logo on it. Of course, there were hundreds of Bears fans in the building, too, and they saw what they've seen for years, Jay Cutler sort of being a fairly decent quarterback, while the Texans critics, and goodness knows there are thousands of, of them, also saw what they've seen the last few years. Darn good defense. What they also saw, though, was a pretty darn good offense. I know, I know, it's week one, one sprained ankle or a sore shoulder, a Brock, the touchdown dock, and we'll all return to those less than thrilling days of yesteryear. Running back was good, the new guy, the kid from Notre Dame, dropped a sure thing, but also caught a not-so-sure thing, so that was a wash. J.J. was back, but looked as if he had lost a step and was kind of gassed between downs. Of course, having your ab muscles sewn back on and your back rearranged would have put most humans in a full body cast for two years. He was still better than most of the guys who tried to block him. Merciless has the right last name, and John Simon looks sharp. I do have one major complaint. I know what you're thinking. Of course you do. With the Bears wearing their home uniforms and the Texans wearing the traveling whites, I got confused early. But like most of you, I got over it. Now let's see if the team can get some revenge on those dudes from Kansas City. You do, uh, uh, you do remember what happened the last time they were here. Well, let's just say we owe them a few lumps. This is Craig Roberts on Click2Houston.com.